Welcome into NBA Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Harrison Graham, and the NBA trade deadline is exactly two weeks away. We're getting closer and closer, which is why you should subscribe to us at Chat Sports as we'll continue to have all of the coverage leading up to then. Uh, on today's show, 10 guards that could be traded before the deadline on February 9th. So let's go ahead and jump on in here. A uh, couple of bulls to discuss first. We'll kind of pair these two together. Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan. Listen, uh, while it's been slightly better as of late, there is a real possibility, you would have to think, that the Chicago Bulls could blow things up because they've got three really talented players, Levine, DeRozan, and Vucevic, uh, but they don't really fit well together. You know, DeMar DeRozan's kind of an ISO mid-range guy. Uh, Levine needs the ball in his hands to be effective. Uh, and uh, Vucevic is a horrible defender. Uh, and with DeRozan and Levine already being poor perimeter defenders, they just get gashed defensively. So I think there's a real chance one of these two gets traded, if not both. Uh, and they're both good players and would fit well on other teams, uh, I think. They just don't fit well together. It's kind of reminds me of Dame and CJ in Portland where they can score a bunch, but they just can't stop anybody. Uh, Levine, certainly the better three-point shooter. DeRozan, the better, I would say, just overall pure scorer. He's much more efficient, but he doesn't really shoot threes. Um, but, uh, you know, I think if you're Chicago, you really got to look in the mirror and decide, okay, is this is this sustainable? Can we get back to where we were in the first half of last season? Because post-All-Star break last year through this season, it just has not worked uh, in Chicago under Billy Donovan. Now, who do you guys think is the better player, would be the better trade deadline candidate? Type ZL for Zach Levine, type DD for DeMar DeRozan. Get your votes in in the comment section below. Who do you guys think is the better option? Let's go to another guard, as these are all guards today. Fred Van Vliet from the Toronto Raptors. Uh, Van Vliet, I actually didn't realize how inefficient he had been this year. You look at his numbers here, still scoring 19 a game, but under 39% from the field, under 35% from three. He's dishing out over six assists, grabs four rebounds. Uh, so he's never been the most efficient guy, but the numbers are down uh, this year. He hasn't been great. And when he, you're 6'1 and uh, a limited defender at that size, you need to shoot the ball a little bit better. Uh, I wonder what a market would look like for Van Vliet. I mean, is Toronto getting a first? May, I guess, probably one. I don't think they're getting multiple for him. You know, there was that crazy report, OG Ananobi, a mystery team, has offered three first-round picks. Well, if that were true, I think he would have been traded. But uh, Van Vliet has value. You could start him. He could be a sixth man, but hasn't been the most efficient player this year. So I think it could depend on fit. Now, BetUS is the place to go to go bet on NBA games and prop bets every single night. Go to chatsports.com slash bet, promo code chat125. You can also go bet on the conference championship games this year. AFC, NFC uh, games coming up on Sunday. you got chiefs Bengals, and then you've got Eagles and 49ers. So if you like uh, where you, you like uh, how you feel about any of those uh, matchups, go put your money where your mouth is. This is chatsports.com slash bet, promo code chat125 for that deposit bonus. How about D'Angelo Russell? There's been some buzz recently that he could be on the move. Uh, D'Lo actually having a pretty good year uh, for the Timberwolves, but he's kind of become that clear third wheel and maybe even fourth wheel after trading for Rudy Gobert behind Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, but delo has been more efficient this year, 46.5% from the field, 38.8 from three, uh, almost 18 points per game. I actually like the way he's playing uh, for Minnesota. Now, the Dallas Mavericks, according to reports, have been linked to both Van Vliet and Delo. They could obviously use another guard next to Luka Doncic. Uh, I like the idea for Dallas of getting a Delo and either having him be the sixth man or have uh, Spencer Dinwiddie be the sixth man. It gives you kind of another shooter, another score. Uh, on that team. Van Vliet, I think, for that team would probably be more of that sixth-man role. But uh, obviously Dallas, a team uh, that could be active at the NBA trade deadline. Now, name a player that the Mavs should go out and trade for uh, because Luka Doncic needs some help. Uh, let us know in the comments section below. I like the idea of D'Lo or Van Vliet in Dallas. Uh, let, let us know what you guys think. What does Luka need uh, next to him? One more here, then we got another five to get to. Terry Rozier out of Charlotte. 
Uh, listen, the uh, the Charlotte Hornets, they stink. And it's time to sell if you're Michael Jordan and the Charlotte Hornets uh, because you got to sell now, try to revamp, and uh, got to revamp quickly because if the Hornets aren't good, at least somewhat competitive next year, you got to think LaMelo Ball. He might be the first player to only play out or first star to play his rookie contract with one team and uh, maybe take a QO to avoid restricted free agency. I could see him doing that uh, and then going elsewhere. I mean, he's not going to stay in Charlotte unless they improve. Uh, so I think you got to sell now, hopefully get into the Wimbenyama uh, sweepstakes uh, for the NBA draft and then uh, look ahead to the 2023-2024 season. Rozier could help a team as a starter or a reserve. Subscribe today because our NBA coverage is ramping up. Stay informed. The trade deadline is going to be here soon, and uh, we'll be live all day during the trade deadline. I think we might uh, work in some live NBA now uh, as soon as next week. Uh, so stay tuned for that uh, as our NBA coverage is starting to ramp up here at Chat Sports. Five more here. Russell Westbrook uh, wanted to mention him, although I think – He's not going to get moved at this point. Westbrook probably going to stay in L.A., according to recent reports, as, listen, we got to give him credit. He's actually thrived in the six-man role, which before the season I said, if Russell Westbrook can ditch the ego and accept being a six-man, I think he could actually be good in that role, and he has been. 16 points, six and a half boards, over seven and a half assists. Uh, he's still not the most efficient player, obviously, and he can't shoot threes, but as an energetic sixth man, I like him in that role. Obviously, he's not worth $44 million, and you know, I think moving forward, he'll probably have to cut that price about in half, but be a super six man for 18 to 20 mil moving forward. He's played well in that role. Uh, good for him. I think he deserves credit for that. Uh, I'll be curious to see what his market is next off season. But with the Lakers getting AD back, tr trading for Hachimura, I think they might just keep Westbrook and go with the score and try to make a push for a playoff spot. How about Mike Conley as the Utah Jazz have had a topsy-turvy year, but I don't view them as a playoff contender. Uh, Conley, I think, can be a good backup for a contender. Uh, I'll mention Dallas again. I think they could use a guy like him. They've been linked to him before. Uh, even a team like the Lakers, if they can make the money work. Uh, but if you're going to keep Russ in that six-man role, maybe that doesn't make as much sense. Uh, how about a team like Brooklyn uh, to bring him behind uh, Kyrie Irving? That could be a possibility as well. Trey Young. This is when things get interesting. There's deep rumors, reports, uh, loose reports, more in the rumor uh, category that Trey Young uh, may not be super happy in Atlanta at this point. He's averaging 27, but the efficiency hasn't been there. The three-point shot hasn't been there. Uh, but he's obviously a very, very good player. Uh, but there is a report out there that Trey Young could want out of Atlanta after this season. Uh, him and Nate McMillan have butted heads at times. Uh, throughout this past year, and, uh, you know, the Hawks are kind of stuck in neutral. The Kevin Herter uh, move was kind of a weird one. Uh, DeJounte Murray's played pretty well, but uh, hasn't translated to uh, a, a high enough winning rate at this point in time. So keep an eye on Trey Young, not necessarily before the deadline, but I think in the offseason, things could heat up around the Hawks superstar. Should Trey Young demand a trade and move elsewhere? Type Y for yes. Type in for no. Uh, what do you guys think? You think Trey Young should get out of the ATL? And by the way, if there was any doubt, uh, the Mavericks are a flawed organization, but uh, they clearly won that trade between Luka and Trey Young. A couple more here. Alex Caruso next up as he's kind of battled injuries once again this year, but he's been back as of late. Um, he fits in anywhere. He's kind of a plug-and-play guy because he's a good defender. He's improved as a shooter. He can play point. He can play two guard. He can defend multiple positions. Uh, so I think he could be a trade chip again. Chicago might just blow it up completely. Uh, and Caruso's a guy that they might be able to get a first-round pick for if it's the right situation. And then Eric Gordon for the Houston Rockets, who is not having the best year, but the Rockets are kind of a mess. Uh, they're obviously still in that kind of tank rebuild mode. Gordon just shooting about 35% from three this year, 43% from the field. But averaging 12 points, I think, uh, you know, is a come off the bench and shoot some threes uh, type of guy for a contender. Like, I don't know, I think like a Golden State potentially uh, could be a fit. Uh, for Eric Gordon. He's also a potential buyout candidate uh, if he does not get traded. So uh, we'll monitor that as well uh, once the deadline comes and goes if Gordon does not get moved. All right, who is the best player? Doesn't have to be a guard. Best player that will get traded before the deadline. I really think Levine or DeRozan's getting moved. I don't know who's going to make a move for one of those guys, but I just have an inkling that uh, Chicago's going to 
going to make a big splash and start to sell a little bit, get some assets back that they lost, you know, in the Vucevic trade. So who do you guys think gets dealt? Biggest name out there? Let me know in the comment section. All right, that's going to do it for today's episode of NBA. Now, again, lock it in, subscribe, turn on the noties, because uh, if you're a hooper out there, a big basketball fan, this is the time of year to be locked into our coverage at Chat Sports with the deadline less than two weeks away. I'm Harrison Graham signing off. We'll see you soon here on the channel.